<laughs> Let me go ahead and make sure everything's working. like it's working now. <laughs> All right. This is the one then. Corpus party it is. Okay. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Just give me <laughs> one second. Oh. See if the controller works first. the discord <laughs> so I think we're good to go I'm not sure what that means what what is this I feel like I missed something. Is this the beginning? Let's let's try this again, just in case. Cause I feel like I mean I could be wrong, but I think it loaded something. Instead of starting from the beginning. Okay, let's try again. Oh, well, you clicked new game. Yes. This is this is all different. I just did the same thing twice, but it gave me different options. She'd do anything for me. Mm. I don't even know what happened that last time. Because I just downloaded this. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. Spooky! Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled and she fell. And she died. Oof. F. This took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary, and it wasn't long after that the whole place got shut down. Okay, I'm gonna plug in this other keyboard because I don't think the controller is gonna work with me.
It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten. But that elementary school once stood right here on the side of our own Kisaragi Academy. Some say that teacher still has no idea that she's dead, even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after classes have come to an end, some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds, just after 7 o'clock. Damn. The ghost. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock knock, you'll hear from the blackness. Followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... Damn! Bitch is dead. <laughs> uh, it's just thunder, Mochita. <laughs> Pussy. I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. <sighs> Come on, stop laughing. Most amusing. It was just bad timing, that's all. You always have the best reactions. They're like little chibis. I just love telling stories to you, Mochita. It's so rewarding. Whoever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Whoever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Ugh, save me! <laughs> Don't be an ass, Yoshiki. He's getting bullied. Deserved though. Okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. If we don't hurry and get back to cleaning this place up, it'll be 7 o'clock till we do. The text is so slow. And he wouldn't want to be stuck here during the appointed time now, would you? I found a shortcut. Too late. My, it really is seven already, and the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. Didn't you bring an umbrella, Shig? If not, you're welcome to use mine. Really? Thank you. That would be lovely. Getting out of school at seven o'clock. Damn. What? A blackout, huh? No, it can't be. Y'all fucked. Oh. oh. I thought I was moving. Isn't it a little late for anybody else to be here? It's the ghost. Damn, y'all. Are they gone? Hey, Satoshi. Aren't you gonna go see? What? Me? Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs one inch. I think that's the one who got scared. I'm scared too, you know. Okay, here. I guess I'm the, the pussy. Hmm. Ah! Alright, here I go. Getting brave now. Is anyone still here? Time to go home, children. Gotcha. <laughs> I just wanted to join in on all the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? Miss Yui.
Mm hmm. <sighs> Did I scare you? You were telling that old ghost story, right? What is even going on here? Like, is this like after school maybe? Like a club or something like that? Your timing was way too good, Miss Yui. Miss Shishido, you've heard the story too? It was that old tale about heavenly host elementary school, and of course I have. After all, it wasn't too long ago that I was a student here myself. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. When it comes to the seven wonders of Yisaragi High, I'm pretty well versed. They've been around for a long time now. So it's a high school now, but it used to be an elementary school, I guess. Though I can't take credit for the blackout, that was just good fortune. Anyway, Mochila. Yes? I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. Come on in. Hello everybody, Yuka. Yuka, what are you doing here? Oh my god, she's tiny. <laughs> Big brother. Seems Mochita forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuka here has come all this way to deliver it. That's so sweet. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. <laughs> Is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aww. I had no idea you had a, such a cute little sister, Satoshi. If at any point somebody just started, like, talking straight up, like, they would get me. Sorry, Yuka. It seems like we're still going to be a little while yet. Really? Well, that's okay. I'll help, too. You will? Okay, thanks. Alright, looks like we've got two extra pairs of hands now. So let's show this mess who's boss. Yeah, alright. <laughs> They're just cleaning now, I guess. Guess you're rubbing me into this too, huh? Okay, everybody, nice work. I hope you all enjoy your vacation. But try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. I guess this is going to be summertime now. Today's Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the culture festival, so do give yourselves a hand. You guys worked hard and it really paid off. A hand. And you even resisted the urge to bail on cleaning. This old TA couldn't be more proud of you all. So, have some coffee milk. I brought enough for everybody. Wow, coffee milk. <laughs> I got these from the lunchroom. You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kinda lukewarm. My stomach's so gurgly, I don't think milk would sit well with me right now. These are from your fight with that vending machine, I'll bet. You must have pulled that, that change lever a good ten times before you finally gave up. <laughs> Crap, you saw that, huh? Miss Yui, thank you. Thank you, thanks. I wish my school had coffee. You're very welcome. I mean, college does. Thanks, Teach. Suzumoto, I really liked your speech. Best of luck to you at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Thanks. Wouldn't it be the same around here without you, Suzumi? I know you, Suzumoto. You'll make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. It's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, well, I'll make sure to come visit. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can go too? Thank you, all of you. Hey brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was her last day. Aw, oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it is. Nothing we can do about it, though, unfortunately. I am... I'm not very good with names, <laughs> so I'm not keeping track of anybody or what they're doing. Hey, Miss Shishida, before we go, I think the easiest to keep track of is probably the teacher. 
since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try something? It's called Sachiko Ever After. <laughs> Who's Sachiko and what's with the paper doll? Is this another one of your occult things? <laughs> Are they really doing witch stuff right here in the middle of school? <laughs> kind of. This is, well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. That's so sketch. Or we'll always be friends anyway. That's the gist of it. Oh, it's a charm? Yep, that's all Shin Shinazaki had to say. Suzumoto is totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Guess it can't hurt. Is everybody okay with this? Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it. Yay, charm. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, you guys. <laughs> Fucking. Marie J, you too? Ah, uh, yes. What a bunch of weirdos, bro. Looks like the eyes have it. The floor is yours, Shinazaki. Great. Okay, everybody, gather in a circle around this paper Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sachiko, we beg of you. Uh, what the fuck? What, what is this? Uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine times. <laughs> don't worry if you flub it a little. Just make sure you don't start stop part way through. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more and no less, or the charm will fail. <sighs> Y'all a bunch. Alright. Let's get started. Everybody remember the charm? So Chica, we beg of you nine times. Ready? Begin. Does nobody have, like, common sense? I've been here like, bruh. Everybody said it nine times? Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah, yeah, let's get on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now everybody reach toward the paper doll and grab hold of it anywhere you can. Like this? Exactly. Now hold on really tightly. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. What the fuck? This is some voodoo shit. We're going to pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, pull! Who agrees to something like this? Nicely done, everyone. Now just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it in your student ID holder, or your wallet. Basically anywhere and won't get lost. Hmm? As long as we all have a little piece of Sachiko with us, we'll have- we'll always be connected with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Try super cool. I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shinazaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. Yes, ma'am. Did she? An earthquake? Whoa. Damn. <laughs> what the hell this is like holy crap big? <laughs> the the music. Big brother, I'm scared. You can take my hand. Everybody stay calm. Get under the desk until it passes. Hurry! What the fuck? <laughs> ah, the floor. Why is the- why is underneath the school like a pit? Everybody hang on to something if you can! <laughs> Damn. What the hell is happening? 
can't... Damn it, I can't see a thing. Naomi, where are you? Satoshi. Ow, my leg! I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Did she like fall into the pit? Where? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. It's so dark. I can barely see a thing. Is this the school? What's going on? What the hell is this place? Bruh, this is... Isn't this not the same room we were just at? Just fucked a little bit? Is that Psycho? Or... Psycho? Psycho. <laughs> this isn't good. Bruh. Can she not hear me? Okay, what the hell? Am I just dumb? How do I get across? Oh. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> that really hurt. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. Should I avoid those things then? Heavenly Post. Third student reported missing. One by one, the young students of Heavenly Host blank school seem to be disappearing. As now a third student has joined the ranks of the missing. Classmates testify that fifth grader blank was on her way home from school but got separated from her friends in the hall and hasn't been seen since. Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnapping and have assigned countless investigators to the case in hopes of a speedy resolution. However, 10 days have already passed since the first disappearance, giving parents and classmates ample cause for concern. Big oof. See. Thank goodness, she's still breathing. Seiko, come on Seiko, wake up! Ugh. There she goes. Don't you what's up me, I thought you were dead. <laughs> hmm? Uh, where? Damn, she- Her face looks fucked up a little bit. Where are we? Oh no, she's fine. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, it ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Don't the desks seem unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school. <laughs> Making it real nice and clear. An elementary school? Can't be, can it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> The printout on the wall. It says Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kisaragi Academy? The one that was shut down and demolished? Oh god, what's happening? You've entered the fourth dimension. Where the hell are we? And where are our friends and Miss Yui? This is what you get for doing creepy shit at a school in the middle of the night, dude. 
Calm down, Seiko. Don't get so worked up. Sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chatter. I'd become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I kept thinking myself, it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of all. Damn, it got quiet. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something, anything. Hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? Seems like a good start. A way out? We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. Bruh, have you tried any of the doors? I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure, but there must be an entranceway or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right. And it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay then. First step is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up. After all, it's probably not just the two of us in here. Oh. The others have to be around somewhere, right? Yeah, and if we can reunite with them... We'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. Alright. I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad, I'd start to scream, I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could manage. Character introductions. Direct the eye towards any character and press the action key to learn about more about him or her. When you're done, exit through the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Okay, so this is a reminder because they knew I wasn't paying attention to that shit. Satoshi, 17. Student, popular, cowardly. Okay. Natural leader. Okay. No, me, 16. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lost her father. 16, psycho. Free spirit. Mother disappeared. Yuka, 14. Damn, she looks way younger than 14. Um... 8th grader. Okay, tries to act older and braver. Ayumi, 17, blah blah blah. She carries horror goods. This is, this is the bitch with the curse or whatever. <laughs> 17, sarcastic and cynical. Um, drama at home. Miss Yui, 11th grade English teacher. Just started this semester. Um, connected with students, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Come on, Nomi. Let's go. Okay. Damn, she just climbed right up inside me. Wait a sec. Another earthquake? No! Is it over? I've had enough. Let's just get out of this room. Okay. What? What's wrong? 
This hallway looks totally different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse? Yeah, maybe. So I guess I can't get across. What's this? Just some rocks, I guess. No, nothing. Ew! What the heck is this? P? Ew, don't say that. Nasty. Okay. Um, hey, Naomi? Hmm? Is something wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, I was so freaked out, I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. There's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you? Yes. Okay, acquired loose board. Um... So, maybe... Gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. Hey, Naomi, what about the loose board we found? You think it would support our our weight? Like a bridge? Hmm, I don't know. Seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Oh, I didn't even... Loose board has been set in place. Oh, made it. Oh, should I grab this? Hmm, this candle. I guess where I've seen it before. Oh, I save. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Such tiny shoes. This really was an elementary school, huh? They're just shoes all over the place? You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Your father's working late tonight, isn't he? Yep, all those mouths to feed don't come cheap after all. And while Dad's working to put some food in him, I get to be the housefrau. Yeah, I guess you and them are still just little kids, so somebody would need to be around. You're pretty amazing, Seiko. High schooler and mom all rolled into one. Damn. I'm not sure how I feel about that statement. <laughs> I just have to get back to them, though. Guess it's, guess it's the same for you, too. Your mom's waiting for you, Naomi. But we'll make it back. I know we will. One way or another, we'll get out of this place. You bet. Alright, anyway. What? Entranceway, the heavy door is firmly shut and seems unlikely or unwilling to open through any normal means. No good, it won't budge. Didn't feel like it gave at all. In fact, I don't think we'll be able to force it open. Man, so close and yet so far. Well, I guess we'll, we'd better look for another way out. Yeah. Alright. Nothing. Okay. Man, I'm really gonna have to backtrack quite a bit, it seems like. What about this? Well, whatever. Damn! Yeah, let's pick up the loose board. Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's try over here. Yep. All right. Um, can't get across here.
What? Damn. Why is there a dead person here? Wait, let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. They really are somebody's bones. No! Psycho. You two. Damn! Eep. You two are new victims, are you not? It's like a. Zelda spirits. A ghost! Who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined just like you. Um, confined? Confined? Do you mean there's no way out? I'm afraid not. The school exists in a reality all its own, cut off from the world you know. So why have we been brought here? They brought you. They're constantly bringing new victims into the school. Sinless innocence, one after another, all trapped in here, doomed to live out the rest of our lives in this hell. Who are they? This is a cursed, multi-dimensional nexus. Multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another. Created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Closed space are perhaps closed spaces. You, and we as well, are the unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We have all been abducted. Closed spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does this mean everybody else is here too? Are they okay, I wonder? So our friends are in the school too? I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in this school. Oh my god, that's such good news, is it? <laughs> Naomi, they're here, we're not alone. That means Mochita's here too. I'll bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in the school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or bringing them into the space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Oh god, there's no way out, is there? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they and what and why have they taken us? I don't know, neither the motives of our captors nor our means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space, and that alone is a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. We're screwed. Damn! No. No, me run! We have to get out of here now! Are they gonna chase me? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought I was supposed to be doing it, but I wasn't. They didn't go out the way I wanted them to. Are you all right, Seiko? Yeah, but what the hell was that? A child spirit? It did kind of glow. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. Spooky. So you saw it too, right? Yeah, and we were talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Okay, anyway. Next. 
Ghost. If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just eternal pain. Why did I have to die like that? Oof, okay. Laters. The stairs beyond this point are piled with rubble. There's no way through. Hmm. Acquired unknown key. So we'll feel the pain of death forever. Best not think about that. Alright. Well, I have a key now. Should I go back up here? Okay. Ooh, oof. I guess let's do this first, maybe. I'm going to kill you, damn. Bruh. Alright. No running in the halls. Okay. Admit it, you hate all your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. Damn. Um, let's go down first, I guess. Oh, shit. You know what? Let's go up first. Okay, there, there's nothing up here. I don't have the board anymore. Maybe I need to go pick that up. Oh god, what is all this? It's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. And just splattered everywhere. Damn. Ew, it smells so meaty. Are you okay, Naomi? I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. Okay. Board. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like how dramatic it gets every time I pick up a board. Wait, maybe I should go use it now. Yeah, let's do go do that. I think. Actually, let's see what's on the stairs first. Okay. More people. Mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lice sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID name, name tag attached to what's left of her uniform. Saisai Academy for Girls. Okay. I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. Looks like there's, uh, there really have been a lot of different people brought here. I wonder how many. It'll work out for us though. I'm sure of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It'll work out for us. If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind by many other victims who've died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. Damn. Rough. Okay. Ooh. Shit getting dark over here. The door is nailed shut. It definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances, the principal. My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. When we found Yuz Yuzuha's body, I saw a black shadow. But I didn't tell anyone about it, and now it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. 
The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. There are skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here, small enough to be a middle schooler. Looking closely, you can see a student ID name tag. So I say Academy for Girls. Damn. Big F. The door seems attached to the wall, like a sculpture it won't budge in the slightest. Alright. Okay. Well. I don't think we've been in here yet. Five A. Damn, this is starting to get big area. Um we can use a board around here somewhere. I don't know. Seems like I have to get there from the other side probably. Okay, there we go. Maybe over here. Yep. The skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting in on the chair. Closer inspection reveals the student ID name tag. Say say Academy for Girls. Asuka Kato. A crumbled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koido. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. Oh shit. Oh wait, it moved, that bitch. I see you. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood and examine it thoroughly. Okay, so maybe I need to go back in the top and it'll be there. No. Okay, well. Let's. Just... Bruh. When we come in the back, it jumps to the front. So how about one of us waits for it over there? Yeah, okay. You, wait here. Or. Oh, outside the window, so dimly lit as to be almost imperceptible, looms a sheer wall of dense foliage stretching as far as the eye can see. There's not even a hint of what may li lie behind beyond it. Damn. Okay, well, one of you wait here, then. I keep pressing enter, but I don't do nothing. No. I guess I'll... Oh shit, okay. I think so. Probably not, but... It disappeared. It doesn't seem to have made the jump over here either. Oh really? Okay, let's try this again. I gotta pay more attention. Okay, sure. Let's see. I think it was right here. I think so. Okay, here I go. Disappeared and it doesn't seem to have made the jump over here either. What? Bruh. Okay. Okay, like, per it's gotta be precise, I guess. Um. Okay. Sure. I think I can do that. All right. Okay. Yeah. All 
right. Here we go. Again. Third time. Ah, oh, there we go. Almost got it. Aha! Gotcha! Now me, I got it. You did a nice job. Turned out to be this. Infirmary key. Because to show you what a little teamwork can do, eh? Make a great team. Okay. To the infirmary we go, I guess. We have that other key, too, and I haven't used it yet. There's a partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag this time. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of the hair sc scattered around the head, it's safe to say this was a female student. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. I'm, I'm a goner, sis. The tendons on my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the hopes that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. Oof. Custodian's closet. The door is affixed to the wall like a decoration and won't open. There's an erratic noise like that of a TV static coming from within. TV static. Oof. Hmm. This is weird. I didn't even notice the music stop. Okay. Well, I guess we'll try this door again, maybe. No. It was a classroom. Okay. What's this ghost have to say? It hurts, it hurts so much. Oh, I guess we talked to them already. Okay. Maybe it's at the top here. Yikes. Oh, what's this? Science lab. There's no way of opening it. Okay. What? Bruh. Okay. I guess I, I think I still have that board. Yeah, let's just place that. Damn! We're being followed. There's a crumbled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen from the corpse's lifeless hand. God will surely save me. A pile of haphazardly strewn human bones is heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID name tag can be seen jutting out from one side. Say Say Academy for Girls, Sasha. Okay. I want to read that. Oh. Laboratories, boys rooms to the left, girls room at the end of the hall. Okay, I guess I'll go in here. Okay, just the bathroom. Ooh, I don't like that. Shut the goddamn door. Oh, shit, my bad. What the hell was that? That was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. And I really don't know which is more likely. The guy's just trying to poop. I'll get out of your hair. Okay. What's this? There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside the, red, the rusted bucket, completely crawling with maggots. Nasty. Okay. What? Why am I even doing this? 
won't open. Okay. Glad we did that. Okay, where have I not gone? Seiko scared me for a second. Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance? You know the smeary stuff? What, again? Yep, my butt's been drier in a desert since we got here. What the heck? What is this? Well, I've got some antibacterial cream if that'll work. Thanks, I'm gonna go better at my pooper with it real good. What? Okay. <laughs> you do you, I guess. <laughs> she said yay. You have any shame at all? <laughs> okay, well this is a little sketch. Let's follow. <laughs> Just checking to make sure you're here. How did she get in here? Mm, okay. I guess I'm just waiting. Should I do it do it to him again? Nothing. The faucet makes an unpleasant sound of clanging pipes when the handle is turned. But no water comes out. The drain is completely stopped up with long strands of black hair and the basin is filled with dirty water. Ew. Even turning the handle all the way, not a drop of water emerges from the faucet. Psycho? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here. Damn, she's taking a long ass fucking time. Okay. Still meat. Hmm. I doubt I should leave. Big brother. Yuka. Seiko doesn't take being alone very well. Okay. Seiko, hurry up. Damn. Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there. No problem. Hey, wait, was that stall open? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we were in here before. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine, I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about, after all. I actually just heard Yuka's voice out of the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Right. Of course. Okay. Damn! Oof. Now, Mary, you okay? That was a close one. My leg, thanks for lending me a hand. No problem, I'm just glad you didn't fall. Seems like you sprained your ankle pretty badly, though. We should find you some place to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. Thanks, I owe you one, Seiko. Think nothing of it. Okay. Um, so... I'm looking for... Yuka, or whatever her name was. Admit it, you hate all your friends, blah blah blah. Door is locked. The unknown key seemed to fit the lock perfectly. The door cannot be opened. Oof. What, Naomi? What's wrong? I don't know. It's like 
My heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me, it'll be just fine. I mean, it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty. Behind <laughs> every locked door lies a hidden tre treasure just waiting to be claimed. Can you hear it calling to you? I hear it. The call of booty. Hmm? All right. Yep. Ugh, another dead body. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I really think we should just leave this room. Something is not right in here. Okay, but I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Same. Can't we just take one little peek? Um, I really want to. There's a candle here, but it's unlit. A message has been written on the desk with magic marker and big letters. Let's hate one another with all we have. Fucking sheep. Okay. Newspaper. Heavenly Post. Breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973 at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses has its tongue severed and removed blank mutilations far too grotesque blank to describe. The page is torn at this point and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. Damn. How awful. I think I heard about this though once before. Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too surprised. What the fuck was that? What? I totally missed it. <gasps> the door? Shit! The door won't open. Oof. Yikes. Okay. That's not good. Um, hmm. Okay. Dense foliage. I'll just try the door again, I guess. Um, well, let's try the newspaper again. You will never leave this room. Damn. Yeah, we're fucked. Spooky music. Mm hmm. Sobbing. It won't open. Yikes. We really fucked up. Um. There's no way out. Oh, what do we do? This is your fault, you know. What? How? Just never mind. Oh shit. Oh. We're free. Oh man, that scared the crap out of me. Hmm. Hold up. Oh no, no, it's gone. What is? The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Damn. The charm? Mine's still in my student ID holder. 
crap, I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you, you need to put things away before they get lost. Now I'm sad. Damn. It's probably like a real bad sign. Rip Seiko. No running in the halls. Um... I guess I could say it again. Uh, yeah. Let's just do that. Alright. Spooky. Um, let's go here, I guess. Oh. Rebel. So I guess, like, the infirmary is what I need to find. Maybe. Hmm. This is the OG room, I guess. Nothing in there. Um... Nothing. <laughs> Kidnappings and junk. Okay. So, what the fuck? I guess I'll go back. room. Candle still isn't lit. Oh, I wonder what the newspaper says now. Mm. Okay, got the name tag now. It's just where the bathrooms were, I think. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else up here. Back downstairs we go then, I guess. Oh god. I stepped in it. Yeah, you did. Here, I got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. These are these are definitely somebody's guts. I got too close to them, I guess. When I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, oh shit, I missed it. Well, seems like I didn't want to hear it anyway. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Infirmary. Door is now unlocked. Damn. Shit really hit. Okay. I guess. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. I could take one or two bottles with me, but I'd probably just end up breaking them and cutting myself. Besides, I don't trust anything in here. The handle turns, but not a drop of water comes out. It's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. A box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them? Yeah, let's take them. Uh, 
There's an old journal on the desk. At least it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model piece of the desk surface. It can't be lifted and the pages can't be turned. Okay. Um. Oh wait, that says something different. There's a lamp on the desk, but it doesn't seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. Okay. There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, it seems as if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. Wash your hands with soap. Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. Both its blades covered liberally in blood. Somehow, I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. They are surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lie down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm gonna take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Huh. It was a whole moment. Uh, this will do nicely. I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprain's a goner. Now, hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright, you're wrapped up tight. How does it feel? Mmm, feels great, Psycho. Thank you. You're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it though. No worries, you've done more than enough already. Uh, you're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. It's slumberland for me. You really are an oddball, you know that? So, hey, Naomi? If we find Moshida, do you th have you thought about what you want to do with him? What? Well, you know, you know what they say. When two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we, sh shall we say, it often leads to love, sweet love. You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place, and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just... Shooting the breeze back at school, like nothing ever happened. Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. I hope we find him soon. Uh-huh. You kinda don't though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish you didn't have to be um, put through all this. You wanna see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here, am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no feeling, Seiko. I've been pretty curt with her since I we got here. I have to make sure I apologize later. Hmm. What? And what was that exactly? Sorry, it's just that when I see that that ass of yours, I start to drool. Bruh. That's gay. <laughs> You're so weird. Big brother. That was Yuka again. Damn. She looks, it sounds like she's going through it. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. 
I don't think that's a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed, you got it? Well, but... Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. Bruh. Oof. My ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has a definite knack for caretaking. <sighs> Miss Yui and the other is Satoshi. I wonder what they're all doing right now. I had to say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. Whoever heard of a class representative with such sadistic streak? Whoever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Eek, save me! Don't be an ash, Yoshiki. Okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. I have to admit, though, his reaction was awfully cute. Oof. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? I... Well, I think... That might be all for today, boys. We made some good progress. <laughs> Things have gotten spooky. We saw some ghosts. Yeah. Hopefully we can find Yuka by the next one. <laughs>